Foxit Phantom is an all-in-one PDF application for both enterprise and business environment which allows you to view, create, secure, edit, convert, and organize PDF documents at a very competitive price. It supports Windows 2000, XP, Server 2003, Vista 32-bit, and 64-bit. Here are the ways you can open any documents in Phantom. Go to File, Open, and select a non-PDF file, such as the Word document. Phantom will automatically convert this document into PDF through Word and the conversion tool, and open the PDF inside Phantom. You can also use the Phantom PDF printer to create PDF documents. By opening your word process of your choice and choosing the print option and choosing Foxit Phantom Printer, you can print your currently open document into PDF. Furthermore, by choosing properties, you can set more specific settings. You are able to edit and change the text on the PDF with Foxit Phantom. You can move, stretch, rotate your text, and there are many more options that you can use with the text. By selecting Insert Page option, you can also insert a page in the PDF document currently open. By selecting Crop Page, you can change the properties of your PDF pages. We are changing the margin in this current page. And as you can see, the margin is changed. By choosing the Extracting Page option, we are able to choose a certain page to extract. Phantom opens the page extracted into another tab in Phantom. The Commenting tool allows you to comment on the PDF contents. There are the underline option, the highlight, the wiggle line, the cross out, the replace with pointer, adding annotation, and the typewriter tool. You can view a summary of your comments through the comments panel. You can sort by different criteria, and you can also port these comments into another PDF as shown. The stamp tool allows you to stamp images onto the PDF. There are preset stamps which you can use by selecting the stamp dropdown and select standard stamps where Phantom will give you a collection of ready-made stamps for use. You can also create your own stamp by going to Stamp, Special Stamps. Select the image you'd like to use as a stamp and fill in the settings option. In this example, Foxit is the category, Phantom is the name, and we added orange text to the stamp. Click on OK. Now, the stamp is available in the stamp drop-down menu under the Foxit category, and it is available for use. You can create form fields in Phantom. In this example, we are going to add a text field. We we'll click the text box button from the Form Tool toolbar, and click and drag 
to create a text field at the desired location. You then are able to set settings for the text field, such as the name, the font size, the text color, the alignment, and the format. Those are just a few settings you can set. You can encrypt and password protect your PDF by going to lock drop down menu on the toolbar and select password encrypt. You can enter password for opening the PDF and also password for access restriction. You can go into the PDF permissions setting by clicking on permissions and edit permissions. In this example, we deselected the print permission. This disables printing permission for this file. When we want to select printing, it does not work. When we open the encrypted file, we need to enter its password. Once the file is opened, by going into File, Properties, Security, and click on Change Settings. You can change security settings. In this example, we have to enter the previously set access restriction password in order to continue. This time, we allow printing, disabled commenting, and clicked OK. Now, it is possible to print, but the commenting tools are disabled. We can electronically sign PDFs with Phantom by clicking on the signing button on the commenting toolbar and click and drag on the PDF in the desired area. We can sign the PDF and set the signatures options. You can choose the signatures appearance, select the digital ID, and view a preview of the signature. In this example, we have our settings set, so we select OK. The top left corner of the signature shows a question mark, which indicates that the PDF has not been saved after the signature is applied. We can save the signed PDF by double-clicking on the top left corner of the signature and save a signed copy. The top left corner of the signature now shows a checkmark. When we double-click on the checkmark, a dialog box pops up which informs the user of the signature as well as they note that the document has not been changed since the signing. Once we change the PDF in any way and saves it, the signature becomes invalid as shown by the dialog box that appeared after double clicking on the signature. And this completes the basic functionality overview for Fox's Phantom. For more information on Phantom, please go to our website at www.foxitsoftware.com.